Hey Scrappers, it's Vanessa here with another process video and I am just showing you here everything that I pulled for this layout and I'm doing this layout for a challenge on a message board that I'm a part of and the challenge was to use stamps and to make them prominent on your layout. So that is my plan. Um, as I go through, I will also tell you what I am using from my secret not secret kit since I am still working through that and all of these layouts are using bits and pieces from that kit. So the first thing that I'm going to do here is grab some of my stamps. Uh, I'm going to do some labels and a journaling block and then I'm going to grab that Dear Lizzie camera that I showed you just a second ago and I'm going to stamp a few cameras as well. And those are going to be my main stamped elements on my page. I don't make you watch all of this since it does knock my camera around a little bit, as well as I don't make you watch any of the fussy cutting that I do to all of these stamped images. Now this camera, I noticed when I stamped it the first time that it didn't stamp all that well, so I did take a white eraser and just season the stamp. That way, when you go to stamp your stamp again, if you do that, it, it should give you a much more crisp image. I also have a mouse pad underneath that also helps get a nice image on your on your stamps. So once I had all that done, I, I did go and fussy cut those off screen. I am going to take my green grid paper and I'm going to glue that to that diagonal stripe of million June paper, which was from my kit. From there, I am going to take my photo and mount it on this tissue paper that my secret not secret kit was wrapped in. It was the perfect color for this photo. It matched the sky in the sunset picture, which this picture is just of a sunset. One night when we were at the pool, a lot of times we like to go to the pool at around this time. You get the, the beautiful sunsets from the water. It's It was just a really nice night. And so this picture was one I wanted to remember so I could document our favorite time to go to the pool. And so, I also grabbed that pink bag, which some of the embellishments from the kit came in that little baggie and a doily from the kit. So I'm going to put those as my mats behind my photo. The white strips of paper there, I am just taking uh, pieces of washi tape from the washi tape booklet that also came in my kit. And I'm putting those down and what I'm going to end up doing is just cutting those apart and using them on the layout. So I use three different pieces of washi from that booklet, a green, a pink, and then a peachy pink scallop. And I don't make you watch me cut them out, but I do cut each one out and they will go right up there where you see me playing with them right now. Once that is done, I grabbed the My Mind's Eye paper and I knew I just wanted a strip of that as well, sort of up there at the top to complete that sort of top layering. This lay layout is mostly going to have just layering up there at the top and then two embellishment clusters. So I'm just going to bring my photo back and make sure So yep, I like that. I like the way it's looking. So I leave that for just a second and I just jump down here to the bottom where I'm going to take one of my stamped labels, my journaling block, and one of my stamped cameras. And I'm going to just sort of set up this cluster down here at the bottom of how I want to lay it out. I also grab that sticker sheet from L Studio, and I am using the word sticker that says all the details. And that'll be in the still shots later. You can see that better. And then I jumped up to the top cluster right beside my photo to the right. I'm going to have just another little cluster up there. It also mirrors the cluster at the bottom where it has a label and a camera and a journal or a word strip. Just so I keep the, I like to keep the continuity between the two to make sure that they sort of work together and it brings in my stamped elements that I needed to have on this page. So here you see I am just writing out my title. And while I did that, I actually noticed that I had pulled that rose gold trim that had come in my secret, not secret kit as well. And I realized that, oh, I, I really should see if I can't get that used up on this layout. 
So I'm going to go ahead and just cut it to the right length. And I'm not 100% sure at first, so you're going to see that I'm going to play with it here in a sec. But first I'm going to glue my photo down on the mats. <laughs> Excuse me. First on the bag and then on the doily. And then once I do that, I'm going to work on getting all these strips glued down since every time I touched anything, everything kept moving. So I need to get those glued down. So I'm going to layer this scallop on top of the pink washi first and then you're gonna see here in a second after I clean up this washi I'm going to go ahead and put <clears throat> excuse me that my mind's eye pink and white polka dot strip is going to go down next I had got cut in the the pink and white paper um, a little bit wider so I'm going to actually put that down next and that, and you'll see here in a moment that that green piece of washi actually goes down on top of the white and pink paper. So I'm going to glue that one down and then here comes the green washi and those all get layered up there at the top and that's really the only extra detail that goes on to this page is just this detailing up at the top underneath my photo. Here's where I am still thinking about that trim, whether I want to use it or not. So I kind of lay it out where if I'm going to use it, it's going to be here. And I thought about putting it under and then on top. I, don't, I wasn't sure how I wanted it. So I, I look at it for a second and then decided that, yep, I do like it. So I'm going to use my ATG and just glue it down. It, the ATG held it down pretty well. Um, I thought about using white glue, but it actually didn't need it. So I'm just going to get this trim stuck down. I really love this rose gold trim. It adds a nice texture at the top of the layout as well. So I'm glad that I was able to use it, use it up. And if I didn't mention that it did come in my secret, not secret kit. So once I have that down, I'm going to go down and I think I'm not sure what I was doing here. I think I was just trying to figure out where to go next but it looks like I am building my cluster on the uh, right hand side of my photo. I also pulled some of the fussy cut flowers that I took from the Dear Lizzie paper that came in my Secret Not Secret kit and I'm going to use those in both of the clusters on this layout as well. So you'll see that I'm sticking everything for this top cluster on the actual pink bag so that you'll see here in a second I'm able to then pick up the entire thing flip it over and I can put the glue down on that top and everything is all stuck together it gives me some nice lift as well on that cluster on the to the side of the photo so I didn't actually have to add any um, dimensional adhesive to the back of it because it already got lifted up from being on that bag so once I have that done I'm just gonna go ahead and put down my title I do go back after the video and glue those down. They are chipboard thicker, so they're notorious for never staying. The last thing that I'm going to do here is just go and finish up or finish gluing down my, <clears throat> excuse me, my cluster at the bottom. And I'm popping up that camera on some fun foam. I will do my journaling off camera later and it will go on that journaling strip. I'm going to add some more of those flowers from the Dear Lizzie paper and the you can't see it in the video I don't think very well but there is a stamp on that label that says life in pictures lastly I'm going to take some enamel dots in pink and green and I'm going to put three in each cluster and that is pretty much how this layout goes so if you enjoyed the video make sure you hit subscribe so you get notification for future videos and I will catch everybody the next time. Thanks, everybody. Bye-bye.